Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind-the-scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Yeah. Yay, it's a new week. New week, and I'm so excited because we have a really full house tonight in the AfterBuzz TV studio. If you're watching AfterBuzzTV.com, you've come to the right place. This is the after show for The Amazing Race Season 25, Episode 5, Rock and Roll. I'm your host, James Wallington, and across from me are... Hey guys, I'm Jessica Carroll. Hi everybody, I'm Justin Nichols. And to my left, we have a special guest host who's Ooh. a super fan of The Amazing Race. <laughs> Not just The Amazing Race, but a reality TV fan as well, who's had her fair share of experience with reality television. <laughs> Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi everyone, my name is Lauren, and I was on The Bachelor. And you're but with, Juan with Juan Pablo. Juan Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Uh, but I am an, I'm a huge Amazing Race fan, so oh. I'm stoked to be here today. And we've got more people here yeah, in the audience. Special, special guests. guests from, well, unfortunately, they got eliminated in episode two, but we're so glad to have them in the studio tonight. We have Dennis and Isabel. Hey, guys. Yay! Yay! We're excited to be here. Yeah. yeah, thank you for driving all the way up from the OC. Yeah. Oh, can I just can I honestly just say how exciting it is for everyone here at Afterbuzz and all of our listeners and viewers who literally love the show as much as we do to have the racers come to yeah. our studio is absolutely amazing. So, Aww, so thank exciting. you guys yeah. so much. Love to hear that. Honestly. And yeah. you're the first from your season to come to the Afterbuzz. Finally, oh, we're first yes, at something. Yes. 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 Awesome. So before well we kind played. of recap well this episode, tell us about your experience, like. Why did you guys audition for The Amazing Race? She tells the story very well. You think so? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I guess I got to pat down, (laughs) but we're huge like fans of Amazing Race. Mm-hmm. I, I I truly feel like, I mean, we feel like everybody who's on the show should be super fans. Sure. Totally. And um we've before we even got together as boyfriend and girlfriend, we were already fans on our own. Yeah, I watched it through college. Yeah, Aww. so when we came together and we found out, like, holy crap. We you ha- love Amazing Race? You love Amazing Race? <laughs> Let's go on the Amazing Race! Race. It's great! <laughs> and so we tried out three times for the show. <gasps> right. And um, we did get a call the first time. It didn't work out that time. Yeah. Second time, we drove up to Vegas, 5 a.m., like, waiting in line. Uh, the girls in front of us were in bikinis. We're like, oh, my God. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, glad yeah. we got on this season because our relationship got stronger. Yeah, it was, yeah. A, it was definitely not meant to be at that time, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. I think reality TV, if anyone pursues it, it happens the right time in their life. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Hands down. I vouch for that. And I'm, and I'm always fascinated when we talk to people from reality television because so many storylines go where they tried out more multiple times yeah. mm-hmm. you know where I think sometimes people when they try out they don't get it and they say well I gave it a shot but I think you really do have to now yeah. get to know the cast and directors and they have to get to know you throughout the different seasons so it's really interesting because a lot of racers are not going to give up the F animals tried out like four times yeah, yeah. yeah. I think when you're super so fans many. of a show of course mm-hmm. you're going to try to get on there because same thing especially with the CBS shows I feel like like yeah. Big Brother Amazing Race Survivor people are super fans and they want to get on and they're going to keep trying so I'm it's just awesome glad you weren't got recruited because I feel like a lot of people now with CBS shows yeah. are also recruited mm-hmm. at bars yeah. so. that's true what was the whole like audition like journey like how did you apply we literally went to Peru like on our own trip and then we were up by Machu Picchu. I was like, let's give it another try and do another video. Hmm. And then we're like, let's send the darn thing in again. We're like, honest. And we, we were, were at on top of Machu yeah. Picchu. Oh, there so you go. Cool. Maybe that caught their attention. Yeah. 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 That's the way to do it because yeah. Jason and Amy it, filmed theirs at the Eiffel oh, Tower. Tower. Yeah. I've never yeah. seen their video. <laughs> they do. They, they love seeing you in action, like yes. doing what the, the show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. What's your favorite season of The Amazing Race? Season 25. Really? <laughs> wow, you were so quick about that. Yeah. You know, my favorites are All Stars. I okay. love watching All Stars because you get to get a piece of every I'm season all in one you. and you get to see them interact. I'm kind of over the All Stars. Yeah. I like Unfinished Business. Oh, yeah. I, think oh, I like that too. I like Unfinished Business more because it's kind of like, oh, damn it, those people should have like kept going. Yeah, and yeah. they were like a second chance. Yeah, yeah, I like that. If they're going to do another, like, bring somebody back, do that. Um, I love, you know, the season with Rob and Amber. I mean, I guess that was an all-star the second one. But season six or oh. seven. That was a really good one because I feel like 
Rob and Amber changed the game a bit, like yeah. the way Amazing Race. There was, was a lot of story within the team. Mm-hmm. See, that's what I miss. Yes. It's like and more of like the story, getting to know yeah. people. Right. Like, I was just saying that on the way over here. I'm like, with Amazing Race, I feel more than any of them. We're not getting to know you guys as yeah. much as we want to. It was more mm-hmm. just playing games. You know, yeah. playing Price is Right rather than it interaction is. Right. and traveling. Yeah, well, exactly. that goes back to, you know, now we're on season 25. The very first season of this show mm-hmm. showed the teams in their downtime at pit stops, yes. at the airport. And they mingle together. And you saw that strategy and those relationships start to form and, like, how that helped them carry out mm-hmm. yeah. to get further into the competition. So... Yeah, I, w- I wish, I feel like they need to bring that element back a little bit more. I mean, like, team interaction. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. like, there's always been alliances, and there's no alliances this season. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's true. Everyone yeah. was playing it safe. Yet. 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 Yeah. 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 I mean, Amy and Maya gave their shoe to Adam and Beth. I mean, I mean yeah. that's an <laughs> alliance. That's an alliance. <laughs> I mean, do you guys remember the team? And I forgot their names. She had a really weird name, but they were just guy and girl friends, and they end up winning the whole show. He had a lot of hair. <laughs> Zach, I think his name was Zach, and her name was, like, Fiona or something. He loved her and she didn't love him. Oh, and then she, she hooked winning. up. And she hooked up with somebody else on the on the show during the. Oh, why did I not watch what? the season? This sounds amazing. Season. I know. Wait, they I were loved friends. What season they, was this? Were they ex- it was an fun? early one. Oh, okay. I can't remember. See, I love Flo, Zach and Flo. Oh, Zach and Flo. Oh, and Flo. oh wow. Remember, That's like way back. It was way back. And, yeah. And then like I. You know, well, remember they were on a car ride, and she leaves her partner and drives with the other guy. That's right. They yeah. can't do that anymore, but but uh, we kind of miss that angle. Yeah, yeah like yeah. the gossip. Behind yeah, it all. yeah. That's kind of fun. I mean, it is. That acts friction during the race, and you know, yeah. Zach yeah. and Flo. Wow, Zach and Flo. throwback. That's so funny. Yeah, seriously. Oh, <laughs> so, did you guys, while you were racing, did you get to know the other teams? Like, did you guys mingle? Like, what was the chemistry between all the other teams? I mean, guess we had two legs, but um, <laughs> <laughs> or before the show even started. No, you're not allowed to like yeah. talk yeah, to talk to anybody. You're not allowed to like you start to get to know each other when you start racing mm-hmm. and waiting um, for air in the airports. Airports, you know each other. yeah. I mean, you guys have to be fairly close with Tim and TJ because that's how I met you, Dennis, was through TJ. Yeah. So I think it's because they're local. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. You know, we had a connection. They're LA. They're yeah. Asian. Yeah. We're Asian. So <laughs> we just kind of connected. Unite. We united. We were hoping to unite on the race, but yeah. you know, I got cut short. When you're done racing at the end of the day, like after you checked in and made it to the pit stop, uh-huh. you do do you get to mingle after that at no, all? No, you're or? just you're so tired. You want to go to bed. Yeah. 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 That's true. Oh my God. Yes. You just all you want to do just, is all sleep. You, go, you don't have much time. You want to eat. You want water. And you want to go to bed. You're yeah. so hungry. Like honestly, that's we watch a show and we're like, why the hell did they do that? Like, we're, like why did they miss that clue or why? What what's up with now their we ju- know why? Now we know why. You're starving. disoriented. Yeah, yeah. you're hungry. Yeah. You're dehydrated. There was a day when we were traveling from Virgin, uh, from St. Thomas to England, and I had this crazy headache, and it was because. We hadn't eaten. Wow. Yeah. Simply for that reason. My hand was cramping, and I would told her, I, like, I think I have arthritis. <laughs> oh, my God. And he's like, oh, my God, I have arthritis. Are you still <laughs> love me? I was like, yeah. And then Keith, I talked to Keith about it. He's like, Keith, no, you're just dehydrated. He's you, like, I have it, too. And then Fire Guy Fighters are like, I have it, too. Like, he's like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we all have arthritis. <laughs> we all have arthritis. <laughs> what, so in episode two, we saw... You and uh, you guys and Shelly and Nisi really racing. Was it really that close? It like, was. did you? It was, and you know, uh... it was. Uh oh, James, you're bringing up bad moments. <laughs> yeah. right. This is what we live for. Yeah. <laughs> right, you go ahead. The you guys, I up the island in our studio. Yeah, it's about the island. You know, on the island, we went back. You know, we lost the clue. Do you guys watch the bonus clips? Some, oh, I didn't not know. all, but I've seen a few. You guys should watch the clueless one. We went. To the, okay. We we went back to the island uh, twice. twice. Because we got the clue, but she dropped the clue in the water. Oh, no. So when we were on the boat, we were going, and we are like, we don't know where to go. So we had to go well, I back. Knew, kind of. Like, kind of, she remembered. From, re- yeah. But we went back to the island. To and be sure. We, want, we had to help another team to figure out where to go. So we chose um, Shelly and Nisi. And then we also... I think they were the closest that's why we to the chose island. Them. When we got off, we saw them. We're like, we're going to help them. And then inadvertently, we also helped the firefighters at the same time. Like, Dennis was literally going out there and digging with them with for them. them. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. my gosh. And they, they didn't like... They didn't end up finding it. But they didn't air we helped that. Shelly and Nisi, and um, it's kind of like... I mean, they, we uh, gotta help them get on. The, you they know, found finish. the clue because we helped them, and then they didn't even show it, which is fine. Aww. But like, we always like it's so painful because it, we were racing for the last place, and last it ends place. up being the team that we helped Help. in the first yeah. episode. Yeah. Oh my gosh! 
But I think wow. it's something too where why we like so much to talk to the racers because you know, as even as those of us that feel like we really know the show, we still only know what, what we CBS see. airs. Yeah, exactly. And so it's always fascinating to have um, the contestants here in our studio because all of a sudden you're like, I had no clue. Exactly. And we really get to know you guys when we couldn't really get that opportunity yeah. watching the show. I think right. the fans should watch the bonus clips. It shows yeah, a lot. They yeah, they really and, should. And you can piece it together, you know? So. Yeah. I, I, and the thing is, the crazy part is, I actually found the clue in the water coming back. And you have to know that we had been, like, it had already been probably a good We We could have been up there with um, food scientists because we had just found yeah. it at the same time. We found them. it at the same time. And they were about to drag their treasure in the water. Mm. And then, like, but then I found, um, when we went back to Island twice, actually, the second time we went back, I found the clue in the water, in, like, completely in smithereens. <laughs> but she was able to piece it out back Out of together. luck. Out of sheer luck. It oh, was, my God. It was crazy. Uh, it was insane. That would have been good television. Yeah. Show that. That's what, yeah. people, <laughs> that's what yeah. people were writing on YouTube. They were yeah. like, this is, they should They're have like, shown this. Why did they show that? Yeah. <laughs> so Overall, though, as super fans, do you feel like you got the most out of your experience, even though your time was cut shorter than you would have liked um i mean no it, to be honest no, no. i mean I just a taste. you yeah. just yeah you just feel like wait no we were Aww. we're such big fans and we mm. we feel like we can do so much more you know the, the audience didn't get to see right. a lot of us my heart was broken for you guys because yeah. yeah. i saw how much you i wanted know it, and i just felt like i, I would have felt hard. the same you know, we didn't get recruited for the show we wanted to be on the exactly. show yeah. we weren't there to Further our fame, or yeah. you know, we want to win. You want the to race. win the amazing mm -hmm. race. So and if so, let's say the amazing race comes back to you, and knowing how much pain you've been through and how hard it was, if they say, "All right, you can do it again," you can do it. Of course, absolutely, absolutely. It's a way to redeem ourselves yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> losing is just it's just takes a hit on you because yeah. you were training and you wanted to be on the show and you wanted to prove to your parents and your friends that you could do it, and then it's just crumbles uh, it's just a little and you know what burn. and it's so like it's been so painful to watch the last few episodes like we haven't even watched them like live we've had to watch them like on our computers just because it's just so so hard hard yeah. and because what we're what's going in our minds is like oh these are the places we could have gone to and yeah. oh, we, <laughs> like i could have done that, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Done that. Yeah. Yeah. why did you do that we could have done that it was you know and Mm. Oh, oh, and another thing, my birthday was the day after we got eliminated. Oh, oh no! Of course, of course. And she had this birthday sash she was gonna race in. <gasps> oh. oh! So how did you end up celebrating? Did you make uh, the best out of we it? We just, we just. <laughs> they sent it to us a really nice place, and we just relaxed. We just oh, relaxed. That's good. Yeah, yeah I mean. It was still tough. I'm it's still sure. tough. And the next birthday will be better. There you <laughs> yeah. Go. No, you know, honestly, actually, I don't want to say that because we can't complain. It, they really, they really took care of us. Yeah. They really, yeah. really took That's care good. of us. It was a great place. We had a great experience. Yeah. But it was just really rough to lose. Yeah. 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 Understand. Well, although you guys are off the show now, I'm assuming you're keeping up and watching the episodes, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. So it is hard to watch. I watched one with <laughs> TJ, and it was just so difficult. I can't. Uh, oh, I, I can't even imagine. I was all smiles, and through the ra through the show, I was like, my. Just, <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at what could have been. <laughs> what could have been. What could have been. So then, let's dive right into where we left off last week in Copenhagen. Yes. And fly to Marrakesh. Let's do Shall it. Shall we? Marrakesh. All right. So we have the cyclists who I didn't realize were that that far ahead of all the other teams because the cyclists were leaving at 948 mm -hmm. and then the dentist left at 229 oh my god whoa yeah that's like almost five hour difference right that's it's, crazy. Crazy. it's because my girls are amazing let's get that started now let's no, get that no. started <laughs> teams were given root info that informed them that they would be traveling to marrakesh to search for the marketplace called Jima El Fana. Oh, I thought it was so funny, by the way, Jima? when all the some of the contestants on the way over to what's it called? J they were all like trying to pronounce it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and they were like, like the Jema. That's me every Jema week in the studio. <laughs> Jema El Fana for the food cart garage where they will find their next clue. Mm -hmm. at, this is kind of where we do see some downtime at the airport because we see the little dialogue between Jim and Misty and Shelly and Nisi discussing that they didn't have to use their. Oh. Oh, yeah. Do you think he? Should should have lied. I I, oh. I think in that situation I probably would have, knowing that there's U turns that could pop up every now and then. I wouldn't want people to know that. Yeah, knowledge. I would have for sure lied. lied. I would have yeah. been like, I know we had to give it up. Like I would have totally played it up because yeah. they had no idea. None. Yeah. What would you guys have done? Oh, we would have lied. I, we would have <laughs> lied. But the thing is, in past seasons, and you've seen this, when people lie, it comes out somehow. Yeah. Don't Afghanimals. Afghanimals. Yeah. I was gonna say the Afghanimals. <laughs> 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 but it comes out. So maybe it's better that they were just. 
upfront about it and honestly kind of protected them in a way because who's going to want to U-turn a team that's going to be in it again? Oh, that's yeah. true. I, 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 I kind of feel like, you know, we'll get to that later, but if I know a team has their save pass and they're a strong team, I want them to burn that, that save, save pass. Yeah. Right. I almost true. would have targeted them and said, you turn them, make them get rid of that safe pass, right. and now they're back to an even place. Right. You know? maybe, I, maybe it's an evil person. Because they have, that that extra secu- well, they have that extra security blanket of like, well, we yeah. have an extra life, it's like which the other idol. teams don't. Yeah, yeah, right? I think the other teams just didn't want to have any kind of friction with yeah. other teams. I think if you watch the season, I think everyone was trying to avoid friction. Stop yeah, playing it so that's, safe. That's, I know. that's what I was going to say, is that a lot, like, only one team you turned anyone. Like, I feel like everyone's playing it very safe and doesn't want very any, safe. True. Mm-hmm. you know, to have Cause any like they don't conflict. want to be a target. They yeah. were they weren't playing strategically when they had the U turn. They should have U turn, you know, should have missed strong players. Yeah, yeah. yeah. strong players. Totally agree. It was like once they got there, they just wanted to get to the pit stop and like not even. Yeah, U turn and Keith and Whitney were. Uh, well, no honestly, point. but I don't. I'm not like I'm not rooting for them in that sense. But it also makes sense. I love Keith and Whitney. I love you guys. But also remember in the previous episode in a previous season with Kenton Vixen where they you turn a team that was already ahead of them oh yeah remember that oh. and what's the point of doing that because you're not you're, you're not helping yourself so they right away they're like well who's around and they just picked who was in their vision but of course it also happened to be people that they weren't really like yeah getting along with so it works in their benefit too right um it could have been any other team. It couldn't. It didn't have to be Keith and Whitney. It could have been any other team too. But Absolutely. so, if you guys got to the U turn, would you guys have U turned someone? Yeah. Yeah. We were talking about yeah. it before, you know, even getting on the race. We were already we ready were. to do Who it. Who would you have U turned? What if we need to get an unfinished business? Uh, <laughs> you don't have to. Answer. The dentist. Just say the dentist. Damn it. Jim and Miss. No, but honestly, it would have just. It wasn't any particular team that we wouldn't out of. It's just out of strategy. Like who would have made mm-hmm. sense at that time? Yeah. Right. And the U turns are in the game to help you yeah. out. Yeah. So it's like, why not take advantage if you exactly. have the opportunity? And if you're a super fan, why not use the U-turn? Because it's mm. like, I used the U-turn on Amazing Race. Yeah. So you might never get that opportunity to yeah. do it again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's true. Yeah, it's so. malice. We just want to get the head. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we see the cyclists talking about how they're racing with more patience, which is why mm-hmm. they're staying towards the front of the pack, Justin, one of your teams. We see Nashville talking about how they want to win that honeymoon. We hear TJ say Moroccan roll, the name of the episode. <laughs> and this is when we see Shelly and Nisi kind of talking about how they made up yeah. Yeah. from their big blow up at the pit stop. She said, we had a long talk last night and because um, Nisi left at her home at the age of 17, which is why they, you know, yeah. may not see eye to eye a lot. But, but this is like the longest they've actually been like together mm-hmm. nonstop That's right. yeah. for yeah. a long time. I like them. Uh, I like that they were casted. I feel like they have a good like dynamic for television. Just the, whole, the whole story. Yeah. yeah. I, I just my main thing is teamwork, teamwork, teamwork on Amazing Race. Right. Yes. And so I mean, it showed last episode. If you don't work well with your teammate right. and you're arguing the whole time, gonna it's gonna kick you in the butt. And this yeah. this and they episode, love that. I know. They love it. Yeah. That's why they're. That's why they're great. <laughs> yeah. <the> show. Exactly. <laughs> but this episode, they worked well together and yeah. they made you know, far. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I loved the wrestlers, their whole little I conversation. Always loved it. Oh, I love always, 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 always. Oh my God. They, okay. They're totally growing on me. I love them. They bring <laughs> out so much. And they're so entertaining. Like the whole Morocco's and yeah, yeah the, the round ball that you like shake to make music. I'm like, that's a- <laughs> Oh, you know, the casting director for this one's like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, them. I found them. Uh-huh. Oh, and they Lord. can kind of play it, like go with it because of course, wrestlers like getting hit in the head, losing a few brain cells. So it's like, it all <laughs> <laughs> it works. It works. It does. It does. So oh, funny. So this was an equalizer leg. Yes. Yeah. Because everyone was neck and neck throughout the entire, the entire episode. Time. So teams land in Marrakesh and they have their first route marker, which is a challenge, which is called Carded Out, where they're first informed that there's going to be a U-turn ahead, mm-hmm. which I think feel like kind of elevated the stakes a little bit for sure like, oh, we're all neck and neck that it's anyone's game with mm-hmm. that u-turn mm-hmm. so teams had to help help set up a food cart at the marketplace if the owner was satisfied they received their next clue what do you guys think about this little i like to say a, a filler challenge <laughs> the food carts yeah, <laughs> hmm. yeah it was, I, I mean it was kind of random very random interesting i mean once again i feel like the the phrase of this the whole season so far is pay attention to detail. I can't tell you how many times we've heard that. Um, so I don't know. It's kind of. 
I mean, I think yeah, it, it's kind of, yeah. I thought it was a good introduction to see where you're at. I mean, it was really neat to see this area that you would never see in the United States, as far as just this huge open area with all these cool. different food carts. So that was cool. I'm glad that they also didn't spend too much time on it because yeah. they didn't have to cook the food or anything, which would have been neat to see them try to make yeah. the local food. They just, you know, set it up. Okay, thanks. Bye. Like, yeah. They've had a lot yeah. of root markers in the season, which is kind of like, it is like a filler. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it for does, sure. It's like fluff. It's it is like yeah. extra stuff. It is extra stuff. Because when we were on it, we're like, when's the next roadblock? When's yeah. the next is it I don't like equalizers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. The, the firefighters and the uh, Nashville League got the penalty. They never really got a penalty. Right. After we were saying, oh, yeah. yeah, we've been over this. Yeah. They, uh-huh. us. they caught it right up to us. Don't you think that would have affected they actually, our place? <laughs> yeah. I think they got to sleep in a little longer they than did. us. They did. They did. So it was a ding on us. It made, anything. actually, to be honest, we were actually kind of like, oh. We were, yeah. Oh, for sure. As you should be. Yeah. yeah. Well, especially totally. in past seasons, you would see teams leave the pit stop, and it was mo- sometimes it was up to them to find the best flight. There wasn't like, oh, you know, flight one, two, three, yes. choose one of these three flights or first time, first serve. And this one, it seems like everyone, there's more availability for a flight where everyone's just mm-hmm. kind of. I think it's for logistics, flight. which I get. It makes yeah. it for easier things for production. But that's, that's the aspect of Amazing Race that, that kind of an early pioneering mm-hmm. aspect of it where you had to find your own flies and that's actually kind of interesting in itself. I love I love when they do that yeah. actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We were looking we're forward to that. that. Yeah. 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 I did though as far as the challenge I did like the speed bump though. Oh yeah. I will Let's give you I'm sorry that. did I jump the gun? No, that was the really next fast, thing. though cuz going back to the food carts some had a harder job than others. Like I was bring that some up. had like eggs. The t- Tim and TJ had like disgusting Goat meat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was gross. and then um, Kim and Allie had like vegetables. Yeah, yeah. and so, some people just had like just setting up a display. It was yeah, just... so it wasn't really that you know, evil, like yeah. even I don't think. Mm-mm. And plus, like. I mean, they like I. You saw them like laying out all those eggs. Well, that was a shit ton of eggs, and they were warm, like ew, yeah. nasty. Yeah. So it's like, how do you determine who gets what food cart? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so that was kind of weird. I thought. Yeah. Yeah, it was just yeah okay interesting. For me. That it's not the same. Yeah. You know, like, is there some sort of advantage or disadvantage? Like, you know, to the food. Yeah. The food cart. Yeah. I would have definitely wanted Kim and Ali's, like the vegetables. <laughs> <too. No. laughs> yeah. So let's talk about that speed bump, Justin. Yeah. Why did you love it so much? Like, it wasn't even necessarily the challenge that I thought was so great. I just feel like some of those speed bumps, you're like. That's all they had to do. Yeah. I'm sorry. If you got lucky enough where you didn't have to be eliminated. It should be harder. You have to fight like hell to yes. earn your spot back into the race. And like, I love my my girls from uh, two seasons ago where they had to like swim across um, the baseball wives. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, they had to like carry that. Like swim across the pool, like a wave pool. I'm kind of like, oh, come on. Like, oh, yeah, that was now. nothing. But yeah, it, took, yeah. like, it took like a minute. And yeah. I'm just like, some of the speed bumps I feel like only take two or three minutes. And you're like. That's not really earning your way back yeah, into the right, race. No. And I feel like this one, it did, it wasn't necessarily hard, but it took them a little while. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? They truly were behind because of that speed bump. Right. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I they had to it. set up 10 Moroccan rugs and hang them from a wire next to the hotel. To and they're heavy. Yeah. Yeah. And and heavy. Yeah. yeah. I, I've actually been to Morocco and I've, Hell, I, mean, I bought rugs and those things are heavy. I mean, I know that uh, Misty carried like three or four. Still, that's, those are heavy. And then, yeah. of course, Jim carried a lot. And it just, it really showed that Misty, she will do anything to try her hardest. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I she keeps that. trying and she'll keep trying until she gets it. And, you know, maybe she she's not the strongest and those rugs were heavy. Yeah. But she never gives up. She's not going to just sit back and let Jim, Jim do it all. And Jim is still so supportive. Yeah. He's very supportive. I love, I love the, how they yeah. react or like support each other and are you know, t- they're such a great team. They are a good team. And a hair is All not right, that's enough place. love for those two. So, ah, anyway, Justin. Yeah. Uh, what they're else not on your fantasy there? team, are they? They're not on my fantasy team. They're on my <laughs> fantasy but team. She, I do think, I do hey. think though, Misty could make, could make a few more decisions on her own. Sure. She kind of asks yeah. Jim on everything. There we go. But can you blame her? Because Jim is a little bit like, he's always kind of like, let me do it, let he's me the, do he's it. He's the in strong control. Yeah. Yeah. So smart. Yeah. But I get it, because he's, he, and apparently someone told us he has like the high IQ. Yeah, he's. Well, what did she say in the last episode? Uh, gosh, what did he? What did she well, say? his his uh, medical school grades were like off the chart. Right. Yeah, or whatever they like said. oh, he's so just, she I think says. she said out of both schools, hers and his, he he had the highest score on some medical yeah. test than any than anyone at both of their schools. You can tell they're very smart. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Very strong. Big advantage. Misty. Yep. Big and Misty looked perfect in every. every oh my gosh! Yeah, she does. Literally, that? she like did. Did you wake up and like curl your we hair? Used to oh. ask her that. We asked her like you woke like, up how did you perfect. Do that? <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, it's we, a did she charm carry thing, like her yeah, makeup and like, irons in her backpack? Like, do you literally have to carry everything? You do carry everything. Oh, and, wow. like, we had the lightest backpack. Everybody was sexually, and you know what's funny? Jim and I, <laughs> we had the lightest ones. We actually weighed ours every day, like before coming on the race. And mine was like 10 pounds. Yours was wow. like 12 pounds. Oh, that's oh, good. Pounds. And Jim had this, like, we came in and everybody, like, stared us down because you're all, everybody's sizing each other up, like, oh, yeah. this is my competition. And, like, Jim had this, like, big sleeping bag dangling, like, hitting the back of his like sh- balls. shins. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and we're like, that was, it was like, why would you carry that? Like, nobody does that anymore. But he's a big guy. So how, long, big guy. how long did he carry that, or did he just get rid of it? He did get rid of it eventually. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what were, like, the essential things that you guys carried? Was it mainly just clothes? For me, underwear. Yeah, but I made him cut down on the underwear. I he had that really underwear. too many underwear. <laughs> oh, my God, God. That is underwear. so funny. We were on the details. I, I had more underwear, underwear than anything. Yeah, Tell us like, more. <laughs> no. <laughs> we brought, you know, like the usual stuff. We brought even like gloves, actually, because yeah. we mm. always see that there's like, even in this episode where they had to, um, I guess I'm going a little ahead of you guys, but like when we they would pull out what? the fur, yeah. I would have... T- brought out oh, my gloves yeah. and been like nope i don't want any of that on my hands yeah know? yeah Just yeah like, that was gross well speaking of the fur let's talk about the robot yeah let's that talk was about the it. next thing in the episode where one Thank team you. member yeah. had to you're hired <laughs> <laughs> one team member had to collect three unfinished goat skins and i'm having a time reading my language my, my handwriting you can do it skins <laughs> and remove it. the hair from them then deliver across the town to receive a receipt and then return to the tannery for their next clue yeah what did you guys think of this roadblock I think Ooh. I think this was the most interesting part of the episode as far as tasks mm-hmm. and what and what they had to do. What or what was after? Was there one after? I like I liked after. after the detour. The, 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 the All I know bikes. is it made yeah, me yeah. definitely turn to pleather. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean that just this how they talked about the smell yeah. and just like scraping the fur off these animals like oh my god yep. I was I felt for them. Maya <laughs> said this is us embracing the culture but it smells like. A goat petting zoo, and then it cuts the Jim's oh, interview. Okay, goes, no, it smells like. <laughs> yeah, oh. I love. I, I love Jim's sigh interview there. He was like, "Don't give me that. This is nature culture crap." Yeah, <laughs> like it's, this, this sucks. Yeah, I, yeah. You know what? I, I also thought it kind of sucked. Cause I mean, I love living. Ignorance is bliss in my mind. So you know what? Like, I want to sit in my car with my leather seats and not think about it. But now I'm I like, know. every time I see leather, I'm like. Oh, I know what this looks oh, like no. now. Exactly. It, it doesn't smells. smell like new cars. No, no. no. <laughs> they cover that. Let's talk about some individuals that stuck out. Amy, who fell into the yeah. chemicals, oh. hysterical. Brooke, complaining as always. <laughs> Tim, um, I love Tim and TJ and how they work really well under pressure, mm-hmm. especially Tim in this one. You see the other teams kind of like, mm, let's talk about Brooke. She was like, this is gross, this is disgusting. Yeah. But Tim's like, this. you just got to concentrate and just not let it get the best of you. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I think TJ they're a really right. strong team. Um, Adam, just like shaving my back when he was Oh my God, that was so <laughs> funny. <laughs> it's just like sh- shaving my back, sweetie. <laughs> oh my God. Um, and Bethany, she was working it. She had like her feet in there. She yeah. was scraping. Yeah. I think we saw like a broken record on our after show, but every week Bethany does something amazing. And I'm not even talking about just having the ability of only one arm. I just mm-hmm. mean that like, she just, no matter what's in her way, like, watch out, here I come. Yeah, like, she, she doesn't she let anything. Up. No, she's, she's great. Got great. I really, really like yeah. her. And she really great. only sees the, the positive and the opportunities, and she doesn't even, like, dwell on, you know, the challenges. Yeah, she seems yeah. so laid back, too, that she's just like, yeah. yeah. Very, know, like, yeah, surfer. Yeah, she's got, yeah. Yeah. yeah, hang loose. She's like, we can She's do this. I'm awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the two of them, they're so chill. Like, there's just yeah. no drama. They're just like, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, that's true. And really quickly, going back to the food scientists, this is the first time I really saw a little bit more personality from the food scientists and I really liked him in this challenge and like she in her in her interviews the post interviews like she was showing a lot of kind of like toot about the chemicals yeah like, oh, that's a fun day and like <laughs> yeah. I really started to see a little more personality building with, with the food my scientists yeah. we haven't really seen that yet and I gotta say I hang out with them that was that yeah. they were fun yeah yeah um, let's talk about Misty too because she obviously struggled on the red block last episode and she wanted to take on this one as kind of a little bit of redemption for herself mm-hmm. and I thought it was amazing how she just kind of stepped in there and took it like a champ because I, I thought Jim was for sure going to do this red block yeah, yeah. So. I think it's a good idea too you know if that really is holding you up about your how you performed last time you know what you're right just get it out of the way and, and it, show yourself that you can it do it it probably gave her that much more um, like oomph for like momentum to really do yeah. well in this challenge she needed yeah. it 
for well, sure. Everyone seemed to do pretty well because they were all on their bikes at the exact same time all trying to get those receipts, and it caused kind of a little cluster buckle. Yeah, That's crazy. How Misty even knocked, um, what was oh, it, yeah. Nisi off the bike? <laughs> yeah. That was good. She was mad. She was, she was, she was mad, yeah. but, but Misty, of course, was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, no, she was like, she no. Misty like, said, I'm sorry as she rode her bike away. <laughs> like, yeah, like, I'm sorry. I mean, the polite I'm thing sorry. to do I'm is to get off your bike and no. say, No, no, you keep going. Not yeah, you race. Race. Oh. Not on the amazing oh, race. Come on. You, you would have never done, done that. I would have. Oh, hold I would have totally gotten off. No. Hold that. No way. We've seen this in other seasons where they, if they screwed up, they've like tried to go back and help. They've done that before. Justin, I think that. you're only saying that because it's Misty and Jim. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, that's right. No. He's, they're on your fantasy. No. Right? Your fantasy. <laughs> Funny. Wasn't it where um, Marie and Amy, somewhere they were doing some robots in Japan or somewhere on a, two seasons ago or previous season, remember? And Amy like, went back and they yes. really did help a team because they felt like they had screwed it up for them somehow. And like they went back and they oh. helped them out because that's the right thing to do. No, sure. but they were so ahead. It they depends were. on the situation. Yeah. This is the different. This is like so. everyone's on the neck, same neck. You can't it's tell who's like, first sorry. or last. Right. <laughs> right. And it, wasn't like, off. it was like a quick <laughs> little like, okay, just put your things back on and keep going. Yeah. <laughs> From experience, when you see the other teams in like challenge situation, does it kind of elevate the competition and the intensity of it? Because they were all neck and neck in yeah, this roadblock. Oh, yeah. When we were on the island and you hear the cannons go off, that means another team came on. It just made your heart oh, pound. Oh, that was so funny, by the way. Mm. Oh, just, the way they edited that. Ridiculous. Yeah, you just your heart <laughs> pound. Every day. Oh man, another one, another one, and then you see the whole everyone there. No yeah. one's ever happy when it's an. Like everyone's on an equal plane again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No one's ever happy. Right. No, of course not. no one's ever truly be like, oh hey, so good to see you guys. Because there's really no room for Unless mistakes last at that place, point. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And then they're happy, right? Yeah. So <laughs> when they're on the bikes, though, I really feel like um, your boys, James, on your team, you're a huge unit, obviously friends now. They did well, and they found he kept us cool, Tim and TJ, mm-hmm. and they uh-huh. found that really hard to find yes. leather shop. Like yeah. he did really well. He found it first, found but it first. he was the last one back to his partner. Yeah. Oh, and, and that's when. Amy went that's away. like when the first time too we kind of saw a little bit of um, edge to Tim and TJ because he was like you got lost he's like I don't want to talk about it not <laughs> now <laughs> I thought it was like them. when um, he found it and he was trying to be slick and not let anybody know right. I was like oh my god go 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 because obviously we've never seen this and then Nisi freaking announces like it's here it's here I'm like what are you doing shut up girl yeah. what are you Come doing um, are you like it was and you could see his face like he, I think he even <laughs> said, like, don't say it so loud, like, you know. And it also got a little, there were some elbows being shoved yeah. a little bit. Let's as far talk yeah. about those elbows. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, let's it do got it. feisty. It got, we had a little showdown between mm-hmm. Keith and Shelly, it seemed yeah. like, on the yeah. mat. Uh-huh. I mean, from editing, I mean, I, I believe that there is some sort of rule where you have to be with your teammate, because I think that's just pretty universal yeah. on any reality show. You can't be apart. Um, but... I mean, from the editing, it looked like Whitney was not with her partner. Mm-hmm. So I have to stand with Shelly and Nisi on this one because Shelly was walking up while they were already there. Yeah. So I can understand in the heat of the moment. I think the only reason why it was so dramatic is because everyone's neck and neck and you want to be the yeah. first one to move forward and mm-hmm. not the last one. What did you guys think of the showdown between the two? It was hard to tell because I couldn't. I mean, I only watched it real quick. Uh, I couldn't tell if she was like. Did she need to be on a standing on a mat? I think you just had to be standing there with your partner. I mean, she was right. Like her argument was like, "I'm right here." Like I, she was just like behind the other girl. They were shortly behind them, and like honestly, in the end, doesn't matter because there should never be any physical. Yeah. Right. Things happening. I mean, you can't blame them. They're they're probably hungry, tired, disoriented. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it, it gets heated. But I don't. I really don't think that she should have pushed Keith. Oh yeah, there should yeah. be. That no wasn't physical. cool. There should be no. no physical. That's not cool. And I yeah. didn't even like what she said to Keith either. Yeah. That was like, um, when uh, she said. He's like, don't push me again or else. And she's like, or else what? Well, yeah. She's like, don't back. threaten me. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, so in you the just end. escalated he, by saying that. Yeah. Up. Like, no one wins then. Yeah. yeah. He does. He can't win either way yeah. in that situation. Right. Like, what's right. he going to do? He can't hit. Like, you know. She, and then him arguing with her at all. Yeah. Put him and Whitney comes, in a bad spot. And, and it comes back to bite him, right? Mm-hmm. Because, well, you know, when we go on yeah. for the race, we find out. Um, the U-turn. The U-turn. Yeah, U-turn. The U-turn's coming up. So. Um, we only have a few more minutes left. Um, so the detour, did anything stand out to you guys between the twirl time and the tea time? Oh. I was laughing my butt off. Yeah. With the... Oh, me too. That was horrible. Um, once again, uh, this sounds bad though, but I'm not hating on them. I'm really, really not. 
I find it interesting with Jim and Mitzi. They are such strong <laughs> racers. Hold on. Hold on. They are such strong racers. They really are. But it's when it when it comes to the detail challenges, like when they did that street parking and they had to like you know arrange the flower pots. This one too, like it was you know the hands and how the high like they the small details yeah, they're, like yeah. they're so strong. Something about details they they get thrown off a little. And bit. you would think that so as the dentists, so the wrestlers, yeah. Hopefully they are the pretty good at detail. Yeah, yeah. they're good. Yeah. They need to be. Teeth. <laughs> Those petals do look like teeth. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> this was an okay one for me, but like I said, everyone did fairly well. But this it's the U turn that was like oh yeah the U turn, and of course I mean I thought it was interesting that some of the teams that were getting to the U-turn first just didn't even do it. Like, cyclists, no. Adam I don't blame Bethany, them. No. No, I wouldn't do that. You don't think well, they would make a move? you're that far arrow? ahead. That's just it. Why create enemies if you're that far right. ahead in case they do survive the double U-turn? Yeah. Exactly. But it's the, it's the teams that were towards the back that I was like, you need to really be careful. Also, though, I wish that they wouldn't have been able to look out over the side to yeah. see who was still competing. Right. Because right. some teams were like, yeah. oh, we looked down and yeah. we saw that um, the the people Keith and whatever were still, we're still doing behind. their challenge, so they decided and not to U turn. But I was like, if you couldn't see that, you'd probably have to risk it yeah, more. Yeah, right. That would have actually made it more interesting. And plus, it didn't help that they were neon yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. That's why we wore regular clothes. And we could blend <laughs> mm-hmm. in. That's right. Smart. The denim. <laughs> yeah, team denim. We were Clever. team black. Even though Shelly and Nisi were in front of the pack they ended up using the W turn and I think a lot of it was from personal yeah. reasons there's Definitely. no strategic reason no. to Absolutely. U-turn Keith and Whitney um, and then in fourth place we had Tim and TJ fifth Ooh. place Brooke and Robbie sixth Jim and Misty seventh Amy and Maya and then unfortunately eliminated and looked like by a long shot oh, yeah. because it got dark and they were doing mm-hmm. it out there Keith and Whitney, we say goodbye to Team Nashville this week. Oh, Bye, Aww. Team Nashville. And, you know, God. once again, it's like she, they switched detours. Mm-hmm. And then they got U-turns. Then they had to go back. And she even said, she's like, you know what? I give up. Like, I, I give up. I'm not doing this anymore. We're going to switch detours. If, if we lose, we lose. But I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah. And I, you know, part of me is like, I don't think I would ever switch detours because I'm like, if you're there, just do whatever you can. Yeah, Yeah, because you're going to lose momentum if you switch up. So I think they had known. I think they had already understood that they were out of the race. And she was like, I'm not going to lose the race being this upset. I just want to change it up. Let's just do something else because we know we're out. And you know, I'll be honest, like, I'm not really sad to see Keith and Whitney go. What frustrates me more, and this is more so from your guys' standpoint, is like Keith and Whitney already had a shot at a show. They were on Survivor. No offense to them, but I would have rather seen you guys go farther in the race than people like Keith and Whitney because they've already had their five minutes. We didn't really get to know you guys at all. We just knew that you were super fans. We didn't know your relationship as as well. We just did from now. So I don't know. I just... And plus, you guys worked so well together. And we've said this previously that Keith and Whitney, they didn't talk nice to each other. They argued a lot. They were not that supportive. And so it was like we were... You guys were just easier to root for. They were kind of like... I mean, teamwork. Yeah. Teamwork, it comes down to teamwork. Because he would put her down. Yeah. yeah. Which we you know saw. what's funny is that, because we got to know them, actually. Oh, we love them. They're and, great. And they're great. And we've realized that that's just how they talk to each other. Yeah. yeah. And it's kind of funny. Like, and they've said that. They said yeah. that. They're like, this is, it works for us. It's just, <laughs> it's weird. We would we ne- think it's def- like, it's, whoa. We're like, we but would they're never like, talk. Yeah. But <laughs> she's actually works. pretty spicy, that one. Yeah, she's spicy. She is. And I kind of wish they actually showed more of her because... She would she would whip it right back to him, it, mm-hmm. and I don't know why they didn't show that side of her because she's. She, I think she doesn't want any confrontation on the. Yeah, on the race. Maybe yeah. She, she kind of has the southern, southern charm. Yeah. Oh, be careful she, of that one. She's she's got spice in her. She does. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can tell she does though. Like <laughs> yeah. her, I love her accent, and you can tell she's very outgoing. And yeah. yeah. I need to make a quick correction because um, TJ just tweeted me. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, TJ. I think that they got fourth, but they really got third. And I do have in my notes the arrows. I just wrote uh, them in the wrong spot. Oh, yeah. So. Thank you, Sorry, TJ. I want to give you. credit where credit is due. They so, got third. And with that correct lineup, because there you go, yes. um, as you guys know that we are very oh, feisty yeah. competing in this fantasy oh. draft that you hear a lot about. So anyway, here are the scores this week. Um, Team Justin, me is at 47. James, you're at 38. And Jess... Hang in there, girl. Uh, you're at 32. Oh, you're not uh, I gained 14 points this week, and it looks like James gained two by getting 16. Jessica got a strong 11. Woo! Oh, there we go. Hey, but it's still anyone's challenge, and it's been really fun as far as social media goes. Yes. 
we're starting to get people that are on YouTube and on Twitter kind of joining our teams right now. <laughs> and so, I have people joining my team. Oh, I know. Oh. I've been getting tweets like saying, sorry, Justin, on Team Jess. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Excuse me? Don't tweet me and tell me that, Corey. I, um, <laughs> I want you to hear you're on my team. Oh, I love God. all of you guys. And someone commented on my outfit last night, or last week, so thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh that was Ooh. sweet. So, um, Should sorry. we just dive right into predictions really fast? Let's do it. Yeah. Now it's back to no bonus points this week Thank first God. and last and now you're after buzz tv predictions. Oh, predictions. 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 i'm gonna change things up tonight and jess oh gosh what are your predictions okay my predictions are you know i i love them but out of everyone i think um nisi and shelly are gonna i don't i don't want to see them get eliminated but i think they might get eliminated i mm-hmm. think that they're gonna get back down to the bottom. Okay. Um, and then I think I'm gonna just say Adam and Bethany are gonna get, get back first. to the top. Okay. All right. Because I have to root for them. They're on my team. Justin. You know, it would be three in a row is rare to see on the Amazing Race, but the girls Kim and Allie, they are on fire right now, and they're really, really strong. So I'm gonna say they're gonna stay up there, if not first, easily second. And I gotta say, I know some of our loyal Afterbuzz listeners are huge fans of Nisi and Shelley, but I'm with you. They're just not cracking the top at all. They're not looking like they're getting close to the top. They mm-hmm. seem to get lucky when they even get to the middle of the pack. So I'm sorry. I think their time is almost yeah. done. I, got, okay. I have to agree with that. And yeah. I, I think Adam and Bethany and Jim and Misty are my front runners. Mm-hmm. For first place mm-hmm. next week? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to throw out Tim and TJ because I feel like they are constantly just kind of inching their way up towards the top. So I'm going to say Tim and TJ are just finally Just because he's listening right now? Is that why you're <laughs> saying ah, this? Yeah, he's going to tweet you again. Hi, Tim and TJ. I just hey, want TJ. them to get first. Like, okay. I just, you know, okay. I do people too. People I think are kind of underestimated a little bit in the game. So I would like to see Tim and TJ get first. And I'm going to have to say Shelly and Nisi in last as well. I don't want to say goodbye to them because they're on my fantasy yeah. team, but we'll just make it easy and I'll say Shelly yeah. and Nisi. They're okay. going to self-destruct. And Tim and TJ, thanks for being Facebook friends with me. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And I know that because we've had such amazing guests in here today, we haven't had a ton of time to dive into some of our comments. Um, let me just say this. We Wait, got... let's ask our, our what they predict. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think we're allowed to. Well, oh. How about yeah, this? You guys can't. Yeah. <laughs> um, which, whose team up here are you rooting for? I team have Justin, the, team I Justin, have the team cyclists. Team. We love all you guys, so <laughs> I wish all you guys luck. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Good one to stay neutral. Who do you predict? Oh, you already did your predictions. Oh, yeah, except should I predict who I think's going home next yeah. week? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That I didn't predict. Um, Gosh. I'm probably just going to agree with all of you guys and give you a boring yeah. answer, but... They're playing Nisi, them up so yeah. much that yeah. it's yeah. time for Shelly and Nisi to so go. Too. But before we say our thank yous to everyone, let me just quickly say that we every week we get amazing comments on YouTube mm-hmm. and Twitter, mm-hmm. and some of you guys send me emails. Claire, I promise you next week when we have a little bit more time, mm-hmm. I want to dive much more into the emails you guys have sent me and all of us all and comments. comments. Like, we promise you guys we really appreciate it, but because we've had such amazing guests this week, we're not able to dive into all the comments, but please keep them up, and we will make sure to get to them next week for yes. sure. Yeah, Denison yes. Isabel, where can they find you on social media? And I want you to plug your blog in just oh, really hey. fast. Yes. Okay, so Dennis and I have a blog called really? MyBoyfriendsClothes.com. Oh, so, um, so, what, cute. so what it is is it started out right after The Amazing Race, actually. Mm-hmm. We I used to see her wear my clothes because she didn't do her laundry. It's true. So I was like, man, you look cute in my clothes. Yeah, and so, so I would take photos. Well, so then we started taking photos of each other where he would wear the same, well, he would wear an outfit and then I would wear the same outfit but my way. And then we would put the photos next to each other. I yeah. love it. Oh, very so cool. You should check it out, myboyfriendsclothes.com. And where on Twitter? Um, on Twitter, Dennis Hour, Isabel Dew, our Instagrams, Dennis Hour. Is a underscore bell underscore. Or if you just go to just, our yeah. website, Dennis <laughs> and Isabel.com, you can find it all there. Dennis and you'll Isabel. Dot com. And you can, you can read about our story of how we met. Perfect. I'm Chapman. Done. done. <laughs> Justin, where can they find you? And you guys can find me on all social media platforms at Justin J. Nichols. Jess? You can find me at Dress Jess XO. Lauren? You can find me at Lauren S O L, and that's not bleep out of luck that's the beginning of my last name <laughs> and you can also see you on last season of the, the, the bachelor of the bachelor if you want to watch that disaster all yeah. over i again. do i do <laughs> and you can find me on twitter at james wallington and on instagram at mr james wally dennison isabel thank you for coming thank to us thank you guys thank you thank you for guest hosting with us back. tonight i hope so and we'll see you guys next week 
Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.